about makeup and to start this video off right I'm going to tag all my beauty friends to do the same I will put all the questions that I will be answering in the description box down below and I wanted to give a huge shout out to Anna No Best she was the person who originally posted this really that I saw and then I saw Ups and the Picks also did it and I loved hers so I decided to do it for myself so we are going to jump right into this Alright, so the first question is, do you remember your first makeup item? I will do my best to find a picture of this product. Back in the day, L'Oreal had a whipped foundation and it was like, it looked really thick, but when you put it on it was very sheer. And back then I really didn't care much about makeup, I just wanted to cover up my face as much as I could. And so this product was called the L'Oreal Whip Foundation or something like that. I don't remember the exact name, but I know it was L'Oreal, and it got discontinued, and so I switched to e.l.f., and I think L'Oreal brought it back, but it's not quite the same as it used to be. Question number two, describe your perfect mascara, and have you found one that fits your specifications? So the perfect mascara is like the perfect bra, it lifts and separates. <laughs> That is the best way to describe the what I want my mascara to do. Lift my lashes and separate it to make them look huge. And honestly, I think that is a toss-up between the Beauty Bakery icing, eyelash icing right here, and um, Urban Decay Perversion. I love that mascara. I actually need to get more because I am out. What kind of foundation coverage do you prefer? Honestly, I like a medium to full coverage because I have a lot of pimples and redness on my face. So I try to get a foundation that will cover that up enough to look okay to go out. <laughs> Number four, what is your favorite high-end brand? So I don't really do high-end brands. I think the expensive brand I've used was maybe Marc Jacob or Lancome. And I do really, really love the Lancome Tint Idol or Ideal Foundation. What cosmetic brand have you always wanted to try but still haven't? Probably YSL or Makeup Geek. I know Makeup Geek is like the biggest top name makeup brand out there, but I have never, ever used any of their products. What is your favorite drugstore brand? Probably Kiss because I love their glue on nails. They also have very good lashes as well. Makeup Revolution has really good products. I like their oil-free setting spray. It keeps my face completely oil-free all day. Um, Neutrogena is also another drugstore brand that has very, very good makeup. Do you wear false lashes? Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm wearing them right now. And like I always say, I actually have a discount code. If you want some Azarita lashes, I will put the link down below to their website and you can use my code blindlyhonestly10 to get 10% off your order. Is there any type of makeup that you cannot leave the house without? Probably my brows or my winged liner. I feel like those are my two defining makeup things that I do. They're the things that make my look me, if that makes sense. Like if I don't do my blue brows or if I don't do a winged liner, I feel like I'm not quite channeling myself. <laughs> Okay, what is your most cherished beauty product? Right here, <laughs> my Kat Von D Kat 2 Liner in Trooper. I have been using this eyeliner, not this particular one, but this brand of eyeliner since day one. When it first came out, I was all over this because when Kat Von D first announced this, she had a makeup line. I believe this was the one of the first things that she came out with. So I have been using this brand since it came out and this eyeliner since it was released. And I honestly don't think I'll ever switch. How often do you shop for makeup? And do you like to pick up an item here and there or get lots of beauties at once? I shop like window shop online daily. Like all the time I'm looking up, oh, this looks cool. That looks cool. Oh my God, that's on sale. 
but I'm rarely buying now just because I'm unemployed. So when I do buy something, it's because I've saved up, I've sold some things on Poshmark, which I'll link down below, uh, <laughs> to be able to afford to buy myself something here or there. And yeah, uh, so I, I try not to buy a lot at, at the same time. I try just to buy here and there. So I, buy, I try just to buy here and there, a little thing there, a little thing here. Do you have a beauty budget or spend freely? What's a beauty budget? Is that like some new type of credit card? Because I don't know that word. Do you utilize coupons, reward cards, and sales when shopping for cosmetics? I mean, who doesn't? Hello, VIB Rogue right here. But like, I feel like if you're shopping without a reward card or trying to find coupons, then you're just wasting your money because you can get a lot of really good deals using coupons. Next, what type of products do you buy most of? Probably lipsticks or eyeshadow palettes. I need to one day do like a swatch because I have two drawers in my vanity full of lipstick and then I also have my purse like it has a little pocket in the middle that is full of lipsticks. So I need to go through my lipsticks. Or maybe one day I will do a um, like makeup swatch of every lipstick that I own. I don't know. <laughs> that would be a very long video and I would have to do it in parts because I have a lot of lipstick. Is there a brand you can't stand? I'm gonna be nice. I'm just gonna say flat out I don't like Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I'm not going to expand on that, I'm just gonna say I do not like Jeffree Star Cosmetics. But I will say I do not shop MAC either because they claim to be a cruelty free brand but they still sell overseas, which for some reason overseas is still barbaric. It requires animal testing to be sent overseas. So until Mac stops selling overseas and testing on animals, I will never buy from them. And I have been slowly starting to change all my makeup brands to cruelty-free brands. Do you avoid any ingredients in cosmetics like parabens or sulfates? So I try to find um, shampoo conditioners that do not have sulfates in them. Just because I like to keep my hair bright and colorful and sulfates can help can diminish the color. So when I buy my shampoo and conditioner, I try to get ones that are color friendly and sulfate free. And as I'm getting older, I find that my skin is getting more sensitive to the ingredients. So I've been starting to do research on what type of ingredients to avoid and which ones are red flags when it comes to like foundation and eyeshadow. So I feel like I'll be switching my companies around a lot in the coming future just because I'm trying to educate myself more. Do you have a favorite place to shop for makeup? Sephora baby, come on. Yeah, I have been shopping at Sephora since day one when I started getting into the makeup game and I don't think I'll ever stop. Won't be shopping at Ulta for a while. Okay, do you like trying new skincare products or do you keep a certain routine? So for the longest time, I had a routine of the Sunday Riley, um, the Luna Oil, and the Good Jeans, and it kept my skin so smooth and healthy and bright. Because of losing my job and everything, I had to switch to a cheaper alternative, and I switched to the Ordinary with their, um, the dupe for the Good Jeans and the Luna Oil, and my skin hates it. Like, I did not have all these pimples and everything breaking out all the time until I switched to The Ordinary. So I am experimenting with a different brand. I'm trying to try out a Neutrogena product and if that doesn't work, I'm gonna end up going to a dermatologist. Next, what is your favorite bath and body brand? Uh, L'Oreal has really good scrubs. I love their Kiwi scrub and I'm obsessed with Lush masks. I've heard a lot of bad things lately about Lush, but I honestly love their products. Like my favorite right now is Mask of Magnatomy, I think it's what it's called. It's like a mint facial mask. It feels so good and my face feels amazing afterwards. If you could only buy from one brand, which brand would you choose? Obviously I'm gonna say Kat Von D. I love her products. There is something for everybody. Although I do wish that she would come out with a lighter formulated foundation that is like a demi matte or a um, sheer coverage foundation. What celebrity has the best makeup? Katy Perry, because she always has like a very fun looking makeup on. 
what brand do you think has the best packaging? So I'm either going to say Beauty Bakery because I love how the cake mix foundation packaging looks and I love how their baking flour looks. And Kat Von D Beauty because she puts her own custom art on everything. Do you belong to any makeup communities? No. <laughs> Twitter. What are my five favorite beauty gurus? Manny Emue, Nikita Drugan, Dragon, I always say her name wrong. Candy Johnson, Glamzilla, and Nia Emue, but I'm gonna throw Pop Lux in there too, because hey. <laughs> Do you like multifunctional products like lip and cheek stains? Well, yeah, because you're saving money, technically, because it's two for the price of one. And really, any red lipstick could be used for like your cheeks. And I've also seen tutorials where people have used red lipsticks to um, counteract dark under eyes. Are you clumsy in putting your makeup on? There's a reason why I don't put my liquid liner and my lashes on while on camera. Do you use makeup base slash primer for the eyes? Yes, especially when I'm doing a bright look like this. I will do um, concealer over it or I will do a mixture of concealer and eyeshadow primer just so it sticks better. How many pro hair products do you use on a daily basis? So if I am just like redoing curls, like these are from Tuesday, these curls, <laughs> I will only use dry shampoo and it's in a texturizing spray. But if I have washed my hair and I'm going to um, style it, I will use a leave-in conditioner, I will use a frizz serum, I will use a heat protection spray, and I will use a texturizing spray. Next, what do you apply first, concealer or foundation? So the first thing after I apply my primer, I will apply my color correcting concealer, my red, yellow, and green to counteract redness and under eyes. And then after I do my foundation, I will do my normal concealer. But if I'm doing a powder foundation, I will put all my concealers on first and then put my powder concealer, my powder foundation. Do you ever consider taking makeup classes? My dream is to one day be able to be a professional makeup artist, so I feel like going to school would help that. But then again, there are a lot of professional makeup artists that never went to school and are, were never certified. They just taught themselves. So like what I'm doing right now is constantly watching YouTube videos, constantly watching the industry and seeing what people do and trying to copy it on myself to see if I could do it. Like I did today, I found a look similar and just kind of ran with it and did my own thing with it. And I feel like it came off pretty good. If you want to see a tutorial for this look, it'll be at Friday. <laughs> what do you love most about makeup? I think the freedom of it. Like, I love being creative and I love being able to do my own thing. And so with makeup, I feel like it's such a personal thing that no one can really come at you and be like, you're not doing that right. Because even with, if they do try to do that, you can just be like, okay, so says you. Like, this is what I like, this is how I like how it looks. I'm comfortable with how this looks. This is my own skill set right now. Like, you go do you, I'm gonna do me. And I feel like you're able to express yourself with your makeup more so than hiding behind it. It's more like, say I wake up and do my eyebrows. I could do my eyebrows 50 different ways. I can do my eyeshadow or my contour or my foundation and make my face look completely different and sculpted differently than what it normally is. And it all goes back to that freedom of creativity aspect that makeup really gives us. It opens up that door to be able to do whatever we want with the products at our hands. Like, I honestly feel like I am in complete control of my life and everything around me when I'm holding that makeup brush, if that makes sense. <laughs> and yes, I am tearing up for saying that. I don't know why. It's because I'm a little whiny little bitch. But <laughs> when I am holding that makeup brush, I feel like it's the key to being myself and expressing myself. And I don't want to be the person to be like, oh, I can't be myself unless I have makeup on. I used to be like that. I used to not be able to walk out the door without a full face makeup on. But I've gotten stronger and more comfortable with myself to where I can say, I'm fine going without makeup for, like I could put it down and throw away all my makeup today 
and move on with my life and be 100% happy with everything. But I feel like being able to come into my makeup room, close the door, put on some makeup, and just start creating, it's just like the most freeing experience that you can have. And to me, I feel the same way as like an artist does when they sit in front of a canvas. I am my own canvas. And I am rambling like crazy right now because I'm trying to get what I'm trying to say across. So I'm gonna stop. I hope you understood what I was trying to say. <laughs> so that was it guys. That was 30 questions about beauty and makeup and me. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something a little more insightful about me. And if you guys are interested in doing these questions yourself, they will be down below. So I'm gonna get going. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like the video if you did and subscribe. Hit my bell so you'll be notified when I post new videos. I upload every Wednesday and a Friday. And Friday nights around 8 p.m. Pacific, I go live and stream for everybody to chat and hang out. So if you ever have questions, if you want to hang out, you want some beauty advice, go ahead and stop in. I always post on Twitter before I go live. So my Twitter handle will be posted down below and also at the end of the video. So thank you guys for sticking around. Again, I love you all. Thank you for your continuous support. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye. Open eye. Feel the waves cut through me. Hypnotized by the sounds of